Hi, welcome to Wikitech and Kashan Product. This is Venkat Shiralaka. Today, I'm going to talk about the document database. You may ask me a question, what is a document database, sir? Document databases are nothing but uh, the database which will process, which will store and which will like, uh, use the unstructured data. <laughs> we have seen with Oracle and uh, like, uh, normal tables, uh, we'll have the structured data. A student is there, a student name and details are there. Like, uh, you got the student information. Those informations are nothing but the structured data. It is defined. The column is defined. The data is defined. So we are able to store it in a proper manner. On the other end, if you got your Facebook, your LinkedIn, Twitter. So these informations are enormous. And they are considered as unstructured data. We are going to talk about like uh, how this unstructured data works with your document database. Before that, my name is Venkat. Look, uh, my company is Kashu Infotech. So we are conducting, we are running a company on training basis, like uh, on inter providing internships and courses. Internship in the sense like uh, you just come to a company, get training, work with the company, research, do some research, gain experience via that you are able to go for a job. We are providing online and offering internship and courses. You can contact me at any time for any kind of help. A note to the companies and recruiters. If any company people are recruiters see this video, I request you people, please share this, like uh, share your job description to us. We'll send the best trained candidates of mine, our company. Okay, so we are ready to accept any kind of formalities with you. And like, uh, please send your job description to us. To my students, there are lots and lots of opportunities and many companies are looking for Kashu Info to train the students. So you can contact me for any kind of help. I'm ready to help you. Okay, so I've given all the conditions and everything. Any kind of people, I'm ready to help you people. Okay, let's move on to the session. So here we are going to talk about four different parts of uh, content. Part one, what is your, like, uh, um, like your document database and futures and what are the operations can be done and the live implementation part. So four areas we are going to talk about. Let's move on. The first one, like before that, like, uh, so I am into the social networks. So here is my Insta account. If you want to talk to me, yes, you can talk to me. Send a message to me at my Insta account, Kashiv Infotech. Click this follow button. You can contact me anytime. I'm ready to help you. Here is my contact numbers and WhatsApp numbers. And here's my Telegram channel to follow. And I'm into the social networks of a Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. You can contact me or you can follow me at any kind of platform. It's time for me to move on to the next level. Like, let's move on to the document database part one. What is a document database? What is a document database? Document databases are, as I told you, you got the SQL. SQL is nothing but the structured data. You got your Excel data, sales data, CRM, finance, such kind of data are called structured data. These structured data are processed via the SQL database. Whereas there are some unstructured data, the data is coming from your ch chatting, email, Twitter, LinkedIn, or any kind of ratings and other stuffs. This kind of unstructured data can be processed using a no SQL. Here, SQL, your no SQL. And the database is called as document database. The data is stored as the documents. Over here, you are able to see it here. As I told you, document database is a combination of structured data and unstructured data. So textual information, image files, video, audio, XML, JSON, sensor data and metadata. Any kind of data, this guy will process it for you. That is a wonder of document, like a, your document database. So here is the one, the database is same. But here tables, over here we got, we named it as collections. Over here you got the rows, we got the documents here. That is why it is called document database. So, I got the database, the database will have the table, the table will have the rows and columns. Whereas the document database, you have the database, with that you got the collections, and the collections you got the documents. This is how the segregation happened. Okay, over here, as I told you, you got the tables, here is the tables, here is the tables, and you got the rows. Each rows, so in the, in the table format, you got the rows and columns. Whereas in the unstructured data, they will create it as a JSON document, Java script object notation document, JSON document. Over here, you are able to see the JSON document here. Every row will have an object ID, a unique ID. You got the student ID, you got the student name, you got the age, you got the college. You got the student ID, you got the student name, you got the age, you got the college. 
So you are able to see the JSON documents are here. So this is how. So instead of a table with the rows and columns, I got a simple string. A simple string. That is why your document database is real famous. Okay, over here, I can show you how the JSON works. You are able to see ID, company name, email, mobile. And this table is referred by an another table with the programs for this particular ID. This guy, I've attended the internship in my company, in plan training in my company, and course in my company. That's awesome, man. So the same data creating two tables, it's very complex, man. Let's have some simplified format. Over here, you are able to see it here. The ID is here, the company name is here, the email is here, the mobile is here. And you got the programs. The programs are listed as a list here. A simple string, instead of creating two tables and store all the data in there as rows and columns, we'll make it as simple as a JSON document. So that is how your JSON document works. So over here, as I told you, you got the relational table, a student table with one row. This one row is manipulated or given like this. You got the ID, you got the first name, you got the last name, you got the total. That's awesome, man. So this is one record. That is why this considers a document. The row is considered as a document here. So this is your JSON, JavaScript object notation. So every record is converted, every row is converted into a single document in a JSON. Okay, this is called as JavaScript object notation. Okay, let's move on here. So before going further, like I want to like uh, uh, share the great news and I want to like uh, congrats each and every candidates of my students. Okay, congrats people who are getting placed uh, in uh, bigger companies. Okay, so Kashu Infotech plays the students. Okay, let's move on here. So before that, before further proceeding, like uh, we got a lot of opportunities. Okay, for our trained students, Kashu Infotech trained students. The people are looking for software engineers from our company, Precious. And the people are looking for UA and UX engineers, uh, four positions are there. And uh, they are looking for .NET domain engineers. That is awesome. Okay, one candidate got placed yesterday in this company. And 50 freshers, that's really awesome. It's a big uh, opportunity. So 50 freshers, they are looking for, they are looking for some .NET internship and training, trainees for their company. And they are looking for Android mobile development application developers for freshers for three years of experience people. So these are some of the openings in our company. And if any of you people want to go for a job, just come and join your company. We will train you, you will get placed. <laughs> so let's move on to the futures of document database. What are the futures, man? So let's talk about the futures of document database. Document database, as I told you, the table is called as collection. The rows are called as the individual documents. That is how the structure is. Over here, as I told you, you got the SQL database and over here document database. So I want, this is a JSON document. And this is your like a collections, your table format. So this is one of the like a command used in MongoDB. DB, database dot uses is a table dot insert. This is the data and this is a document. It is getting inserted over here. This is how it works. I'll tell, I'll tell you detail in our live implementation. Okay, let's move on here. As I told you, your document model is a combination of lots and lots of different types of data. The data can be a key value pair. It can be a relational data. It can be a graphical data. It can be geospatial data. It can be object data. It can be an image or video or something like that. So document model is a combination of an unified interface. Unified interface of different kinds of data. Okay. And this guy, document database, supports a transactional data. It can store the transactional data. That is awesome. The transactional data. And it can store, it. we are able to search the data, the informations. We are able to search the informations over here. We are able to like, access this data via any kind of devices. Your mobile access, something like that. Any kind of devices, you can use it to access the data. And... The data, like we are able to process the data via the real-time analytics. We are able to store the data and we can process the data. So whatever information we are able to capture it easily, that is our real-time analytics. And we are able to store the data in a consolidated report, in a common place. That is called as data warehousing. Okay, data warehousing. Okay, so as I told you, these are some of the great features of uh, your uh, document database. So we are able to like... Uh, like a, take all the transactional data, search the data, 
access via any kind of platforms we are able to do real-time analytics and finally we are able to have like a gather information from different kind of sources different kind of sources we are able to capture that is called data warehousing so before further proceeding like many people used to ask me questions sir, i want to become a software engineer sir what i need to do so the first thing is like as i told you go for internship or courses so our company kashi in fact we are offering internships and courses via online offline what you need to learn is you may ask me a question if you want to build your profile learn like this learn some technology like evergreen technology learn your latest technology learn a coding technology and learn a database technology the job is yours so this is how you have to plan your profile so don't learn an e single technology you can learn a single technology but learning multiple technologies make your profile built your profile will be built awesome very stronger okay over here as i told you so like web designing is one evergreen technology you can learn html css javascript php such kind of technology and learning the latest technology like big data and cloud computing is awesome learning either dotnet or java or python is good learning sql server or oracle is awesome okay so that is the so you can go for internship or courses the opportunity the salary is awesome people 20000 to 1.5 lakhs they are paying per month and any degree any department people can do it and very easy to get job so it is the opportunity learn things and build your profile you may ask me a question sir i want to learn things sir where i can search for informations over here just go to this particular url kashu infotech.com/internship just scroll down scroll down scroll down you are able to see lots and lots of contents here lots and lots of contents so engineering kind of internships software internships commerce electrical you got a lot of information over here and just further scrolling down you are able to see the pictures also see it here software internship you got a lot of pictures here that's awesome man so start looking into this and uh, you are able to like click the click the icons and learn things okay so just go to this link kashyainfo.com/internship i'll put this link in the description now let's move on to the part 3 of our uh, video here the benefits of document database we talk about the benefits before that like i want to talk about the like the sample examples of document database so mongodb is one of the very powerful software people my very next video is on mongodb okay so all your data all your document data is converted to the json format and it is getting stored here that is how your mongodb works and this the second one is like your couch db couch db is another powerful database powerful document database and from there like if we talk about the another guy called couchbase so couchbase is an another uh, like application another database which is also a very good example for document database okay so like you just go there and start learning these things so if we talk about the document database what it can do it sir it can do the crud operation what is crud creating the tables reading the data updating the data inserting the data and deleting the data all kind of manipulation operations and definition operations can be done in your document database this is simple it's a similar kind of applications so why this document database on oh, the data is unstructured right so obviously we need the document database the data is a document model and you are able to see the schema is flexible i don't have the rigid schema man only this column this data you should no 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 you will have the flexible schema that is a major advantage the distributed and resilient okay so the data can be distributed and it's not that everywhere the exact data is there it will take some time relax but you will get the exact data relax and it can be accessed via any kind of api so i got the java program i can access i got the python i can access i got dot net i can access man so you are able to access from any kind of apis and that is how your uh, like um, mongodb works sorry your document database work let's move on to the live implementation of your document database yeah so here is our live website i'm going to show you like uh, you can have uh, uh, the link in the description on the first comment let's move on here okay so over here just go to this particular link uh, wikitechie.com/tutorial/mongodb just go to this link just scroll down scroll down document database click it here this is the document database so you are able to see all the database collections and documents and here is the json format and this is how you are able to like implement it the live implementation is there just go and check it out here 
Okay, an advantage of document databases are here for schema layers, faster creation, no foreign keys, got a lot of information. So if you want to see the implementation part, yes, you can you can check it out. Okay, I'll give you the real-time examples and everything. No foreign keys, open formats, a lot of information are there. And what is the disadvantages? I've given everything here. Just go to this link, wikitiki.com slash tutorial slash mongodb and go to the particular link and start learning it. Let's move on to the next area. So hope you got a lot of information about this, like a document database. I'll see you in the other video. Like it's time for me to say goodbye to you. Our company Cash Info is providing online internships and direct internship at our Chennai office. And I request you people to share this particular video to your friends and everyone to spread good information to a lot of people. Let's transform the nation by spreading good information. It's time for me to say like a, it's time for me to say goodbye to you. Thank you. This is Venkat signing off from Wikitech and Cash Info. Jai Hind.